Good evening to you on this Monday. I'm Aton Wallace and welcome to Impeachment Wrap, Where Does America Stand? Our web-only live show that wraps up everything you need to know about today's Senate impeachment trial. Now, timing is everything this week as President Trump's impeachment trial wraps up. His Tuesday State of the Union address is wedged between today's closing arguments and Wednesday's scheduled final vote of the trial. Emily Schmidt has more on the politics guiding these historic three days. The Senate will convene. President Trump's impeachment trial resumed Monday with closing arguments to senators who seem largely unswayed by arguments so far. Even as President Trump has orchestrated this cover-up and obstructed Congress's impeachment inquiry, he remains unapologetic, unrestrained, and intent on continuing his sham to defraud our elections. This was the first totally partisan presidential impeachment in our nation's history, and it should be our last. In a Republican-controlled Senate, which opted not to call witnesses in the trial, Wednesday's vote is one in which the president will almost certainly be acquitted. As a result, President Trump says he will likely have a difficult time working with Democrats. Even as his trial was going on, he tweeted on Monday, I hope Republicans and the American people realize that the totally partisan impeachment hoax is exactly that, a hoax. One test of what comes next will be Tuesday, as Trump delivers his State of the Union address in the same chamber which impeached him. Today, Sitting behind him, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who, according to her spokesman, hasn't spoken with the president since October. In Washington, I'm Emily Schmidt. Deciding senators spoke to the press today about their upcoming decision, most unsurprisingly falling along party lines. It was an overwhelmingly powerful case made by the House managers and particularly by Adam Schiff. He moved me. I hope he moved some Republicans. I think each Democrat is going to make up his or, home, his or her own mind. This is an issue of conscience to everybody. I'll make my statement uh, sometime probably tomorrow, but I think that, uh, you know, whether or not you agree or disagree or disapprove of his behavior, his conduct with respect to Ukraine, the question that the Senate has to answer is whether or not it warrants his removal from office, which arguably, again, is incredibly, it would be very, uh, I think, convulsive to the country and um, add further um, divisiveness and bitterness, which there's all, already plenty of, and I think it's, uh, that's going to weigh heavily on members' minds as they make that decision. While the Senate decides whether or not to remove the president from office, a West Virginia Democrat is offering up a third option, censure, which in other words is a public reprimand. Now on the Senate floor today, Senator Joe Manchin said he thinks it's a good option for senators who do not want to remove Trump from office. I'll make my statement uh, sometime probably tomorrow, but I think that, uh, you know, whether or not you agree or disagree or disapprove of his behavior, his 